In regards to my last video, somebody said, so you'll never put your baby daddy on child support. And the answer is no. Let me tell you why. I'll never put my baby father on child support because I have to deal with this man for eternity. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I am your host, Dutch the Creator. I just wanted to get up here for a hot second to get you guys' opinion on this video that I'm about to show you, where this woman, she literally, you know, um, just goes in on the child support system. If you guys know my channel, I talk a lot about single motherhood. I talk a lot about the Democratic Party bestowing this um, poverty mindset on to our community, living in dilapidated situations to where, you know, they placate us and um, just don't want us to succeed in life. And I believe the Democratic Party is the real racist out there. Now, she talks about the child support system. In regards to my last video, somebody said, so you'll never put your baby daddy on child support. And the answer is no. Let me tell you why. I'll never put my baby father on child support because I have to deal with this man for eternity. Okay? It's not just 18 years. Like, life doesn't just stop at that. No. I, until I'm gone, he's gone, or the baby's gone, we have to communicate because I believe in family. So, until one of those things happen, that man needs to be your friend. Now, I'm not saying you gotta sleep with him or you still gotta be with him or you gotta follow his direction. No. But it pays to build a friendship with that man. And you can't build a friendship when you get the courts involved to put him on child support to make these small ass payments because you're low key living off the payments. And some pe women aren't. They really support the child with the payments. But for the ones that don't, they collect the child support to be spiteful and to, you know, try to help maintain their life. I'm not built for that, okay? I would rather just work a little bit harder and deal with the headache of having to work a little bit harder or go a little bit harder than to put my baby daddy on child support. I'm not doing it. I'm not putting my baby father on child support. We need to be friends. And if you don't wanna be here, if you don't wanna be present, I'm not gonna force you to be present. You don't wanna be here, well shit, I don't either. I catch red flags real quick. So if I felt like at any point during the pregnancy or prior to, to um, you were giving me, you don't want the baby vibes, I'm pro-choice. So uh, we can, <laughs> no problem. I don't believe in the, oh, the soul of the baby, no. You don't want it, I don't want it either, but I'm not putting my baby down on child support, no. If you guys really think about certain things that go on in our community and the community of America, I'm, I'm just, you know, speaking about specifically our community, the black community, but this does happen outside of the black community. Um, we received Nia Long, um, I, which I love Nia Long, I, I do, I do, but they just basically gave her $32,000 in child support. Like, wow. Like, do the kid really need 32000 And the thing is, a lot of people will be like, well, you know, um, they could pay for their school. They could pay for this. They could pay for that. But damn, you know, um, what is, it's a detriment to that man because some men out there, they really, you know, just don't have any money after child support is gone. I gotta take care of myself, you see what I mean? And the thing is, the child support system is different from what it was intended to be. And we all know that, we all know that. In 1947, FDR basically said, you know, the men coming home from war, um, they're having PTSD and all of this stuff, man. And, you know, these wives who are stay-at-home wives, they need some type of support. And we're having a lot of divorces going on. And these women are in destitute. These women are in poverty. These women need help. And I believe in my heart that women do need help if they were in the household, you know, if they were holding down the fort and then that man coming home and he's just going crazy. You see what I'm saying? And he's leaving it. So they implemented a child support system to where this man will financially take care of this woman with his children. I agree with that. I understand that. But now it doesn't even mimic that. It's not even close to what it was supposed to be, people. And we know this. We know this. We know Keisha just can just go to the club, have unprotected sex with any man that she wants. 
and then he gets her pregnant. Now he got to step up and be a man. He got to step up and be a man. Now understanding that, you know, to want to take care of that child, I need an um, emotional connection to you. I don't know you like that. You know, I don't want to have that baby. Yes, we both made these decisions, but at the end of the day, I don't, I don't want that baby. And you're trying to force a man to do something now. You don't, he don't want to do it. Now you're bitter. You're bitter. We seen it. We all seen it. We all seen it happen numerous of times. Probably happened to you, player. You watching my video. But they take you on child support. But they don't do it because, you know, they need to take care of this child. No, they do it because they are mad. $32,000 a month. Tyrese went online years ago. It's a meme right now. He said $13,000 a month. And we looked at him, a grown man crying, a grown man crying. And we laughed at that. It's nothing to laugh about because that man probably can't see his child. Let's not talk about that. Let's talk about that. These men out here, like my big brother, who spent over $260,000 on just trying to see his child, pays every month for children that he can't see that the baby mother already brainwashed the children not to like him. His, his oldest is 21 years old, hate him. So they're like 50 cents child. You see, y'all know the shit that goes on with this child support system. The thing is, if I'm paying child support now, you made my child a bill. We don't like bills. We don't like bills, people. We don't like bills. So therefore, why would you make my child a bill? Now, I probably don't like that goddamn child. I'm keeping it real. But, man, if you want child support, I, look, I just got a divorce couple months ago and you know me and my ex we decided no not doing that child support shit going straight down the middle with it you feel me I take care of mine she know I take care of mine and shout out to her for allowing this situation and this thing to prosper like that because I'm going to show that you don't need child support to do that, especially with a guy who you know gonna take care of the children. You know this, but you're doing it just because it's there, just because it's an option. And this woman literally breaks it down to the point where mm -mm, I don't need to do that because I do need to be with that man. I need to make decisions with this man for the rest of my natural life. That's all I got. Y'all go down in the comment section. Tell me what you think of this situation. Tell me what you think about child support as well. All right? Y'all stay unplugged from false narratives. I will catch you on the next video. Peace.